Uh, so to start off, uh, what's your name and what do you do for Summit? My name is Sheila Harris and I'm a yoga instructor at uh, Summit Creepline. My name is May Lynn. Uh, I work at Summit Dallas as the Assistant General Manager. My name is Leah Holland. I have been climbing for a couple years, but recently I did YTT with uh, Summit and I am a new yoga instructor in the Norman location. I am Nicole and I am the Youth Programs Coordinator at Summit and I am also a youth climbing coach. My name is Becky Coltrane and I am the Executive Assistant to the CEO. Um, I think what it means to me to be a woman is just honestly we bring so much creativity into this community but I think there's been a natural support system here in the climbing community that being a woman it feels safe to just be yourself, be who you are. For me it's specifically um, relevant in the fact that I am a youth climbing coach because I have a lot of girls on my team and my main goal with them is to teach them that being a girl is not a disadvantage within climbing and that they can go as far as they want because there really is no ceiling to rock climbing for girls. One of the first things that made a big impact on me was the Real Rock Film Festival that we did a screening of and seeing um, there was a film about the first woman who climbed a 14er and um, how right after she did that, all of these other women did it too. Because you just need to see those barriers broken and then everyone realizes that it can be done and then people continue going further and further with their climbing. When I first joined the gym, I was warned about men uh, white knighting, always coming and trying to help you climb better and do this and do that. And as a woman, I've found that doesn't really happen and other women will shut men down who are trying to do that to women. And women will stand up for each other in this community to say, no, our bodies don't always work that way. Our bodies work this way. We're gonna help each other. And having a bunch of women that also are thinking along the same lines of like, we're here and like, we're gonna be a part of this and we're, we're gonna be heard and seen, um, it's big. And it's a lot bigger than just one person sitting in front of a camera. I think it was kind of, it felt like a sleepover when I did go. You know, it feels really casual, there's no pressure. Um, and I think the energy is completely different. Uh, there's something about with women climbing together, it feels like just free. Especially with like day passers or women who seem a little bit more timid about like climbing in general or climbing with like people watching around like I'm like no you should come to Lady Crushers it's a lot more low key like it's only women women support women like all we are doing is like climbing and hyping each other up and like supporting each other one of the best things that's happened to me is climbing and being able to find those friends and through groups like Lady Crushers it solidifies how much more we need programs like this as well because we want women to feel comfortable climbing uh, feel comfortable climbing in groups and also finding that support that they may or may not realize they needed until they climbed with a bunch of other badass women and thought, hey, this is me, I belong, and this is my thing. Don't let anything hold you back. I think our biggest obstacles ourselves, so it's not good to allow other people's opinions of what you're capable of hold you back. And I think the wall is a great example of showing yourself how far you can push yourself outside of your limits and what you're capable of. So again, you shouldn't let another human being make you feel any less than what you're capable of. I would say to all the women, don't be afraid. You are, you are worthy. You have a place here in the gym. I think that sometimes people stay out of yoga or they stay out of climbing or they stay out of spaces where they feel like you have to look a certain way or you have to already be really strong or already be really flexible or have the right clothing or be this type of woman or that type of woman in order to do those things. And Summit isn't like that. Summit is welcoming to you no matter your age, no matter you know your skin color, your gender identity, 
you're welcome at the gym and it's a space that everybody can find community in and so i just want all of the women to who may be afraid to try out our offerings to know that it is a safe space for them to come to there's never a route that you can't get on because you're not able to because every route is an opportunity and there's not anything that says that it's not an opportunity for you. Coming to something new and trying something new is what makes you grow as a person and that's the same with any route that you get on. And so you should never limit yourself based on what you see um, because you may surprise yourself. We care about women. Yeah. 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 See, you are great. <laughs>